Hey. Chris, you awake? Hey. <sighs> Guess not. I wake up at five in the goddamn morning and you're asleep like a frickin' rock. Last time I come have a sleepover at your place. You look kinda different when you're sleeping. Not so dead-faced and emo. <laughs> Looks like a nerd, too. <laughs> hmm. You smell like cinnamon and apples. It's probably from your mom's cooking, huh? She loves making pies. Really good pies, too. I should go downstairs and sneak a slice before I fall asleep. I'll probably get in trouble. Not that I really care. <laughs> Hey, um, I never told you this before, but, uh, thank you for everything you did in the Dark World. Like when you saved me from that jerk king. That was pretty cool of you. When you used your sword and shield to dodge me from that spade, I mean. I never thought anyone out there would try and save my life. It's kind of why I'm so mean, you know? Why be nice to everyone around me when they're just gonna hate you anyway, right? But you don't hate me, do you? I mean, why save me if you did? You have the best opportunity to get rid of me right there. If you really hated me, you wouldn't have called me your friend. Or help me with those puzzles. Or stuck around after. You don't hate me, right? You're not just here because you feel like bad for me or pity me or whatever. God, why am I even asking? You're asleep. You can't even hear me. I'm so freaking lame sometimes. <sighs> But, you know, I think, I think when it comes to you, I'm kind of okay with being a little bit lame, a little bit of a nerd, a little bit of a freak. You're kind of different from everyone else I know. You're honest with me, bluntly so, and you don't just cower before me like I like I'm gonna eat you. Which I threatened to do on multiple occasions. You just give me a dead stare like you don't believe me. Like I would never do that, which... You're kinda right. I wouldn't have. Believe it or not, I don't really want to end up in jail. It's not really a life goal of mine, you know? I'd rather just hang out with you and Lancer and even that fluffy ball of green joy. But, I kind of like hanging out with you most. You're, like, my closest friend. One of the very few I even have. I kind of depend on you, you know? I'd never tell you that. You'd get a bigger head than you already have, you freaking nerd. I didn't mean that. Ugh, I didn't mean that. Your head's not that big. Fuck, even when you're asleep, I'm apologizing for being an ass. I just... You make me act so weird. Why? Why do I care so much what you think of me? I never cared what anyone thought of me. I never cared if anyone got upset with me before, but you... You make me care. You make me want to care. You make me question myself. You make me stay up till five in the fucking morning wondering if you like me or not. God, that sounds so freaking weird. And lame. Like, like a weird love confession. But it, it's not. It's just... I've never had a friend before, you and Lancer. I don't... I don't know 
what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm doing it right, if I'm treating you badly. I just... You make me care, and I, I'm terrified all the time. This is all so new. I want to be good. I, I want you to be impressed with me. I want... Fuck. I should probably get some sleep, huh? Well... <sighs> Good night, Chris. Maybe one day... I'll tell you all this bullshit when you're actually awake, huh? Good night.